What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you how to install the Go Power Sports top plate. First, we need to remove the two 10 millimeter nuts on the rear of the gas tank. Now there are two 10 millimeter nuts holding the air box onto the carburetor. Pull the vent line off the tank and the vacuum line off of the valve cover to remove the air box. There is one eight millimeter bolt left holding the gas tank on to the block. You will need to pull the carb out some to get the throttle linkage off the carburetor. Remove the spring connecting the governor arm to the throttle linkage. If you plan on bypassing the governor, you can pin the governor arm back with the spring we previously removed. I highly recommend pulling the engine open and removing all governor parts. We can get rid of the existing throttle bracket by removing two 8mm bolts. We are going to be removing the governor on this engine and not using the arm pinning method. First you need to get the top plate ready by grabbing one of the small allen head bolts and two small washers and the threaded spacer. Use a 1 8 inch allen head to install the spacer. Make sure the flat part of the spacer is touching the top plate. Now we can grab that flat throttle bracket and the existing allen head bolt. Lay the bracket onto the lip and install the allen head bolt with the 1 8 inch allen head wrench. Make sure the small hole is pointed towards the rear of the top plate. Next, thread the throttle cable eyelet onto the bent bracket. I use performance engineering bolt covers and allen head bolts, but a 10 millimeter bolt and nut comes with the top plate. We can now set the top plate on the engine and bolt it to the block. We need to take two sets of pliers and bend the throttle linkage 90 degrees. Place the throttle linkage into the hole on the top plate and back into the top of the carburetor. Place the included spring into the top plate bracket and drill a small hole in the rear of the top plate to hook the opposite side of the spring to. Without the factory air box, the linkage rod can slip right out of the carburetor at idle. How I deal with this problem is I take a feeler gauge and place on top of the throttle rod. Then we take a little hot glue and patch the opening on top of the car bracket. This can easily be removed later if needed.
The existing holes in the top plate are for a pulse pump. We will be covering how to install a pulse pump on a later episode. The last step is to install the throttle cable eyelet by hooking it onto the bracket. You can now install the throttle cable housing into the brass fitting and put the throttle cable into the eyelet. So guys, that's how you install the top plate from Go Power Sports. This gives you an awesome throttle feel. It's way better than anything you can rig up. It's just a really cheap part to throw on it. I think with the every little piece included, it's around $30. Now, my discount code does not work on this top plate, but uh, because it is a racing part and there's not a lot of markup on these parts. So uh, $30, I think you'll love that top plate if you are gonna be removing the governor um, off of your engine. This is a must, I think, and uh, also if you're running it on a mini bike where you're not going to have the tank on the engine, this is another plus. But you are going to have to put a tank somewhere else on the go-kart or the engine. Uh, the next video in this series is going to be the pulse pump. We're going to explain what this does and how to install it. It's a really simple piece to install, and that will make it where you can mount your gas tank virtually anywhere on your go-kart or mini bike and not have to worry about the engine getting supplied with fuel. So uh, stay tuned on the channel where you'll get to see this engine run on one of our drift tracks. We have three now, so we'll have a really good time, all three of us kicking around in the uh, parking lots and get the drone out. So, so thank you guys for watching. Go to Go Power Sports and check this part out and uh, tell them Redbeard sent you. Thank you guys. Redbeard's Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. Go Power Sports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini bike parts. And when making your purchase, use the Redbeard discount code in the upper right hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal. Hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode. And go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest to stay up to date with the channel. Guys, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.